Good morning children. Now you know a lot about ratios. So, let us solve some problems of day-to-day -day life relating to ratios. In a school, there are 450 students. This includes both the girls and the boys. And the number of girls are 200. That means the remaining are boys. Now, let us find what is the ratio of girls to the number of boys. For this, we know the total number of students is equal to 450 and total number of girl students is equal to 200. So, how many boys are there? Number of boys is equal to 450 minus 200 which is equal to 250. So there are 250 boys in the school. Now let us find the ratio of number of girls to the number of boys. It is equal to 200 is to 250. So these two are the terms of the ratio. Now we can reduce this ratio 200 by 250. First let us divide by 10 both the numerator and denominator and it gets reduced to 20 by 25. This we can further reduce by dividing both the numerator and denominator by 5. 5 4s are 20 and 5 5s are 25. So this get reduced to 4 by 5. So the ratio we can say is 4 is to 5. Now let us solve another problem. There were 45 flowers with the florist and in this bouquet there were like the ratio of red flowers to yellow flower was 3 is to 2. Now we need to find how many red flowers were there and how many yellow flowers were there. So total number of flowers is equal to 45 and the ratio of yellow and red flowers is equal to 3 is to 2. 3 and 2 are the two terms of the ratio. Let's add these terms and what do we get? The sum of these terms 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Now what does this mean? So 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. This means that if there were 5 flowers then there should be 3 red and 2 yellow flowers. Understood? This also has one more meaning. We can say if there were 5 parts then out of which 3 parts are red and 2 parts would be yellow. So red flower is equal to 3 by 5 and yellow flowers is equal to 2 by 5. Now we can find out the number of red flowers and yellow flowers because we know the total number of flowers which is equal to 45. So the total number of flowers is equal to 45 and so the number of red flowers would be 3 by 5 multiplied by 45. Now we can reduce this by dividing by 5 both the numerator and denominator 5 nines are 45 so this gets reduced to 3 into 9 which is equal to 27 so there are 27 red flowers. Next we will find yellow flowers. 
again the total number of flowers we know is equal to 45 and the number of yellow flowers is equal to 2 by 5 multiplied by 45 we again reduce this by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 5 so 5 nines are 45 so this get reduced to 2 into 9 which is equal to 18 so number of yellow flowers is equal to 18 so how many red and yellow flowers are there there are 27 red flowers and 18 yellow flowers now if we add them 27 plus 18 it is equal to 45 which is the total number of flowers so we got the correct number of red flowers and the yellow flowers understood that was all about ratios bye bye children